Hi there and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, my friends. This is Manuel Khan and it's a beautiful day full of uh, bad weather, rain and good weather, sun and a masquerade. <laughs> Fritz and Matthew have hatched a plan which usually means lots of fun and lots of mischief. The thing is, yeah, we should dress up as humans and uh, harass the looters in Scarlet's. Now, we got some original human outfits. Showed them to Andrew, this man. The innkeeper. Uh, where he is? Yeah, he's, he's standing here somewhere. It's the innkeeper from this place. And uh, he will get the loot and and uh, also yeah he'll buy from us if we get some loot so he said that's very unconvincing so we met we met a drunk here that guy milomir hey, telling stories about humans wild stories the kind of stories like humans have two heads and will eat you alive things like that so we thought that he was very unconvincing and now he's told us where he's got these stories from and we should be inspired by that we will visit Bran the charcoal burner who often talks about humans and Orlina the wife of the Tornberg fisherman and the very competent Vashek a young stable boy from Ushitz uh, who apparently knows something about the Cumans as well. Because we are not good enough, it seems, for Cuman, uh, Cuman stuff. So let's, let's mount, let's ride. Let's ride because that's what we do best. So where are these people? Here, yeah, there's Bran, the, the fisherman. And then Olina, uh, no, Bran the charcoal burner. Olina the fisherman's wife and Vashek the stable boy. <laughs> Let's visit these three masterminds of human yeah. recognition and uh, ask them what they mean. So we can go for our absolutely super perfect plan see how far we'll come, right? <laughs> Maybe we'll even meet Cumans on the road. Ah. Uh, who is that? You heard that? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? Are you also a Cuman? Whoa, that guy is harsh. Ow! Oh my god. That guy is no joke. Ouch. Man, 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 man. Hey, we landed a hit. Oh, now. Now we're talking good cum. Ouch. He's up against that tree. Ow. Oh. 
Huh. And now you are talking. Ah. Oh my god. Stop that. <laughs> <sighs> Too dangerous. Oh. What have we got here? Ornamented Shishak. Wow, he's got costly stuff. Lamella pauldrons. Whoa. And uh, that thing, reinforced hauberk, Whew. bandages, and a bacon. <laughs> Whoa. What a cumin, eh? What a cumin. On that, let's eat some bacon. And apply a bandage. We're not bleeding, okay. Let's um then I oh, know. Bring something over to the horse. Ornamented cumin shishak, yeah. What else would we have here? Well nourished we are. I guess we're 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 okay. We're okay. Talking about humans, eh? Let's put that back. Are we on the right track even? Hopefully we'll reach the charcoal burner man. What's here? Is there a poacher here? Hmm. Yeah, that's not something we want to further at this time. Yeah. Let's find our charcoal burner. He must be over there, right? Yeah. Where the small houses are. Hey, not, not that way. Yeah. They are burning coal. Uh, burning wood to make coal. Well, jump. Oh. That wasn't too good. Now. Bran. Good Bran. Good Bran. We've got charisma. Well, we've got... We're bloody. Welcome, Henry. Thanks a lot. Is there a way to wash somewhere? We don't want to be too intimidating. Otherwise, we will intimidate. Come on, your charcoal burners. You must look terrible half the way. Why, why don't you have something to wash? I could sleep. Mm. Anything. Nothing to wash. All right, I guess... I guess we'll we'll just talk then, eh? Hey Bran, human expert. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? About these cumans you saw, you allegedly saw. They say you know what cumans look like. I do. Once when I was going alone through the dark woods. Oh my god. That's of no interest to me. 
Ah. But. Look, save but, the tall yeah. tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well. Well. They're decked out in raven feathers because. Well, so a black hen would do. But that <laughs> wouldn't have magical powers. Right. God be with you. Magical powers. I believe we have some black feathers. I believe we have. What else? What is that? Something hidden here? No. Okay, so we need black feathers. God be with you, Henry. Hmm. Let's go over to Tormerg. Ask Olina what she knows, and then we'll continue our way. Maybe that way. Maybe not. Anyways, it's a beautiful way. Look, but it's the wrong way. Oh, or it's not. But right after this, we have to go to another path to our right. At the first. Path right, this path. And now we're going back over that? Yeah, it seems so. My. Well, it's the best way. Oh, good Bucephalus. Will we, what will she tell us? Ouch. <laughs> the twigs. Ah! That hurt. Hmm. All right. Facts aren't interesting enough, I guess. Hey there. Good tanners. Does he have a job? Or is that Nicholas the Hunter? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find Olina now. Ah, always a nice look at the Tomberg. Good and also some bad memories, but mostly very good. Surviving is good. Look, so beautiful flowers here. We'll gather a bit. These blue ones I love, and that eye bright, oh. Let's find Olina. Where is she? There's a woman walking. If that's Olina, I mean, it's totally an unrealistic way to approach her that way. But that is Olina. Hey there. She fits the description. They say you know about cumans. They say you know about cumans. Fangs. They wear wolves' fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. Good to know. They creep around like 
beasts of prey as sneaky as death. No, that's me. Oh, that was quick. Fangs. Fangs. Take care. Okay, yeah, the fangs. Oh my God. Some animal teeth. Wolf fangs. That's too wild for me. We gotta brush this off. These memories. Fangs. Tom of the Baths. Hey there. I believe we've met. Um. Hey. What are you up to here? Lost something? Um. They don't look too good. Maybe we can haggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. And what is it you'd like? Everything, absolutely everything, because we need to wipe some stuff of our memory. Whew. I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. They'll make a new man out of us. And now it's dark. And we're fresh again. Oh, the more beautiful one. That's good. That's nice. Can we take that? Really? <laughs> some beer, some mead. Let's take one mead or so. Yeah, let's drink something and... Oh. A little bit over the top, eh? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to the last one. To the stable boy. We can go to the stables and see Well, uh, yeah, just along the river to the east. Yeah. Let's leave that way. Yeah. And then follow the river. That was like in that race. That's a good path. Open ground. Also good for the horse. Absolutely nice. Hey, hello. What's that? Hmm. Not that in. Ah, there's a path. that yeah. don't know don't care on to the Ushid stable boy yeah. Fritz and Matthew way eh? <laughs> these bastards <laughs> lovely bastards Vashek. Is that Vashek? Hey there, good man. A little drunk. Hey there! 
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Oh yes, of course. Can you tell me something about humans? You must be the one. You must be the one because the others were clearly mad in the head. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. My master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. It's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir? I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the Cumans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted down in the night. So no weapon can hurt them. Right. Thanks. <sighs> Take care now. Dog. Skin. Hunt down a dog at night and skin it. Please don't. Hey, who's there? What was what? Oh. Let's see what of that we have already. Oh, look at that. That's where we can also sleep. So Go right up there. And I think we might have some... Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You looked so great. <laughs> Oopsie-doo. Was that where the lodgings are? Not really. Eh? A little bit further up the road. And hey, hey there. Where's my bed, by the way? Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. And will you be there too? Yeah, let's have a good look. Uh, where's our bed again? My god. Yeah, there's another active night I have to cater to sometimes. Mm. Just over there, there was a crash. I mean, this is a good forsaken place where people like only <laughs> they only like dwell here. There's <laughs> there's nothing on here, but bam, there's an accident, and then gotta go out and help people like my wife did. Oh, I've got to cater to the babies, <laughs> to our little ones. Make sure. Oh, let's hope no one was hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, not critically hurt. People were hurt, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Like that, that crash. Whew. Not a good sound. Not a good sound. So what we need here is, uh, we need some some feathers if we find some and dog skin look we've got some dog skin and black feathers 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 uh, got a lot of books we haven't read yet Let's let's take the kingdom of Bohemia with us. Why not? Uh, so what else would we need except the dog skin? Getting a hold of a dog skin and wolf fangs. 
or some animal teeth. Raven feathers. Hunt down a dog at night and skin it. No, we will not do that. Wolf fangs where we... I think... In Tornburg, our old friend maybe has wolf fangs. That's charlatan. Black feathers. That's, that sounds just like him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some animal teeth. We have that on the horse. Are there feathers? Food. Yeah, black feathers. Let's move that thing. Over. And the wild boar's tusk. Maybe that. That should be okay, right? Got a dog skin now. And the other things. Black feathers. We need more black feathers. Some animal teeth we've got. Uh, some black feathers. Some more black feathers. As soon as you have the feathers, fangs and dog hide, go and see Andrew. Yes. There's only one part of black feathers... Hmm. We need to find them, but what's the time of day? Yeah, we'll find more black feathers tomorrow, and now we'll go to sleep. And uh, before though, we want to read because we're we're such an erudite, right? Let's sit down. Drunk, constipated. The best way to read. About the kingdom of Bohemia. The kingdom of Bohemia, as far back as the memories recorded in our great chronicles do stretch, our land has been fertile and settled in great abundance and offered refuge to many and exceeded other countries in beauty and bounty. Before the waning of the first millennium, two empires did exist here side by side, the great Moravian Empire and the disunited Duchy of Bohemia, in which the Premilid dynasty did reign supreme, and Saint Wenceslas, the patron saint of the land, did hail from this lineage, as did his brother Boleslaus I, who solidified power and unified the land. His son, Boleslaus II, did promote the parish of Prague into the Diocese of Prague, and thus the land did join the Holy Roman Empire, although no ruler of the Premislid lineage had yet received the title of king. The first to do so was Vratislaus II, who in the year of our Lord 1086, for coming to the aid of the Emperor during the attack on Milan, did earn himself the crown, but his progeny did not leave, uh, did not have such fortune until Ottokar defended his inherited right to the crown. It would have been natural for him to then occupy the neighboring land of Moravia, but he did not, for he wisely and peacefully charged his son with administering this land, and thus did make of Moravia a march, which later became not an imperial fiefdom, but a royal fiefdom belonging to the Bohemian crown. But the Premish leads were not met to rule for long, for a murderer's hand did intervene, and this great dynasty was slayed by the sword, and the empty throne did then fall to the Luxembourgs, who did annex to this country other territories of great size, so that the kingdom of Bohemia nearly stretched from sea to sea. The most famous kings of Bohemia and the king of the Romans in the same man was Charles IV of Luxembourg, 
Will it establish great wealth and bounty for the entire land, and its fame did spread, for he did promote the diocese to an archdiocese, and did command for a great university at Prague to be built, and a new town with a stone bridge to connect it to the old. The university at Prague did become the home of many a learned man, and Prague did become the seat of the empire. Charles firstborn son Wenceslas the fourth was bequeathed a land of great riches and prosperity by his father, but he did devote himself more to whores and drink than to wise rule. He did set his own bishops against Rome and against each other, and his incompetence as a ruler was so great that his own brother, who had inherited the ways of a ruler from his father, had him taken prisoner and dethroned. A note. What has been written here about the good King Wenceslas is a blatant lie. Sigismund, that ginger fox, is the son of a whore and traitor to his land. King Wenceslas is the one true king. That we read here. <laughs> nice. So, um, now after you and me we have learned we'll sleep go back to bed and claim some black feathers tomorrow have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Immanuel Khan signing out